Alright, what's up y'all? Class is in session. Let's get it started. Hey kid. Oh, hi Hidomi. Ready for your big race? I think so. Dr. Tamari is making some last minute tune-ups based on the data we collected yesterday. Oh, that's great. You coming? I already came. Wait, what? Huh? I think so. Wow, she seems pleased. Come to think of it, that's the first time she's ever asked me that kind of thing. I guess we're friendly now. That's good news, eh? Why is it lagging? I noticed that a few times when recording. It's always on the third day. Anyway. Yeah, yeah blah, blah, blah. You know me. Hmm? You ready for the race today? Definitely. I wish you luck, but you don't need it. I'd wish you luck, but you don't need it. Man, I'm awesome at that. <laughs> Thanks, kid. She seems pleased. Again. I'm going. Now. Weird comma placement. She seems fine, but... Maybe I'll give her some friendly support until she leaves for the race. What exactly is this friendly support involved? Involved, yes, past tense. That's the kind of guy I am. This is it. Here comes a big day. Oh, hey kid. Did you have those gloves on before? I don't remember. I'm going to be in the stands cheering for you. Uh-huh. She's so cool under pressure. I have to the last two numbers of Tamari now. What? Okay, I believe in you. Kid. It's going to dedicate my race to... To Kissy? Yeah, yeah, but I was thinking... Maybe I'll dedicate one of my laps to you. Wow, that's really sweet in its own icy, aloof, extremely distant way. I guess she likes me? I'd like to think we're friends. I suppose I'll head down to the track now so I can get a good seat. I wouldn't want to get stuck all the way in the back. Word up. It looks like the race has already started. I'm so small, it's easy to squeeze through the crowd. I got front row seats. The bikes are all moving so fast. It's hard to tell which one is Hiromi's. Maybe if I squint. Woo! Who's that? Go, go, go! Faster! Beat those losers! Oh, it's probably Kissy, eh? They can eat your dust! Hey, hey you! Yeah, the dumb ride motorcycle. Get out of the way! What a boisterous, enthusiastic fan. Phew, yelling is hard work. It looks like it. Are you a racing fan too? I guess you could say I'm becoming one. I'm here to cheer a friend. Me too, what a coincidence. My name's Toby, by the way. Oh, hmm. Hi Toby, I'm Itoko. You know, I'm cheering really hard, but honestly, I can't really tell which one she is. They're all kind of blurry, huh? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I was here for the prettiest lights. They really dazzle me. Itoko, let's cheer together. Ready? Go, go, go! Woo! Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Um, whoever invented the motorcycle for inventing the motorcycle. Yeah, woo! That one bike. Beat that other bike. You're doing it. You're going real fast. Wow. <laughs> Look at you go. Those are pretty good, Itoko. Thanks. I'm sort of a novice at this. It's okay. You're doing great. So, Itoko, what do you do? Me? I'm a student at Namco High. I see. Do you like it? It's not bad. I'm stuck in detention, though. Oh ho ho, I'm hanging out with a delinquent. I'm not that bad. It's okay. My friend is a delinquent, too. Enough of a delinquent to have been held back a few times. Her friend? It couldn't be. What about you, Miss Toby? Ah, uh -huh. Toby's fine. I was in the United Galaxy Space Force. Uh, oh. I guess if Gallic is a spaceship, this isn't much of a, much of a stretch. I was in the Battle of Better Duque, 85. I'm a space fighter. It's nice, though. Things are pretty calm recently. I've been catching up on my stories. Wow. There are all kinds of people in this crazy world. You know, this race is very important to me. Oh? 
I promise to go on a trip, but only if she wins this race. Whoa, whoa, hold on. But I'm a little nervous about it. I'm not used to just doing something. I prefer to have a plan. It's important to always have a battle plan. You're talking about, like, space battle? Yeah, well, not just space battles. It's good to have an idea what you're going to do, but sometimes there's more to life than that, right? It's more than just preparing for every possible contingency. True, but I don't know. Blah blah blah. So anything could be. I just don't know if she would understand my concerns. She's somewhere between confident and impetuous, you know? We are talking about Hiromi, right? Yep. Wait, how do you know her name? I've been hanging out with her at the auto shop. Although she called you Kissy. She's the only one who does. Oh, you must be the new pal she was talking about. Did she call me that? Gosh, I'm flattered. She's been really happy lately. Usually it's just me and her, and she doesn't complain, but still. I'm so glad she's made a friend. I used to think Hiromi was a little morose, but that's not her at all. She's just... very uncomplicated. I was always overthinking, trying to decipher what angle she's coming from. But the truth is, she always takes the shortest path between two points. I bet the neurons in her brain are all like little roads, going the shortest distance from point A to point B. I've been trying to pick it up from her. It helps keep me focused too, to simplify my thinking and concentrate on the important things. And the most important thing right now is this trip we're planning. Toby, you should just tell her how you feel. Tell her exactly what's on your mind. If you're nervous, it doesn't hurt to let her know. And likewise, tell her to be clear about her expectations as well. I know, but she's so cool, like a lone wolf, or a pterodactyl. Sometimes it's hard to tell if she cares. I mean, I know she does, but we're not very similar that way. I can't stop telling people about what I'm thinking, even complete strangers. Tell me about it. I've known you for 10 minutes, and I don't want to know more about you than Hiromi. I think it's just how she is. She's very content with the few things she has. You, a motorcycle, and a dream. If she didn't care, she probably wouldn't even hang around, you know? Yeah, you think so? I do. Hmm. No! Oh, I'm the final approach, but I can't see who's up front. It's a pink and blue streak. Only one racer could possibly be that pink. And the winner is Hiromi Tengenji! It's Oko! She won! She won! Ah, uh, that can't hit a high note. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Here we go, Hiromi. Okay, what's with this blackness? Mm hmm. Okay. Took a few clicks. Sorry, guys. After that, we headed back to the garage. I can't believe I ran into Hiromi's partner. What a small world. Hiromi! Oh, hey Kissy, did you see? I saw. And look who I found. <sighs> Whoa, hey kid. Do you guys know each other? We do now. Actually, I'll catch up with you in a minute. I think Toby has some things to say to you. Toby? What's up? You know me? I'm gonna be honest, that scared me a bit. Be true to yourself. He's right, Toby. Tell Hiromi how you feel. Kissy. Hiromi, I believed in you today. And I'll totally believe in you. Forever. But I want to be honest with you. I'm a little nervous about this trip. Hiromi? I know. I got the prize money. But we should wait a little longer. Let's save up some more money, lay down some plans. Really? Yeah. You're right. I should consider your feelings. We can't wait around forever, but this feels like the right thing to do. You know me. I wouldn't leave you hanging. Thanks. <sighs> I'm gonna head home. It's been a long day, and all that cheering tuckered me out. Itoko? Ah! She kissed me on the cheek. Good. Now you can get in a three-way. Thanks for the talk. So, 
Sorry if I intruded. What? Spit it out. It can't be fun to be between two people like that. Eh, what are friends for? Thanks, kiddo. That was nice and cute and sweet and stuff. I wonder how this is going to end, though. This story is so much different than the other ones. Hey, mm. Romy, let's fight together. Let's get Toby, too. Is there time? It's not our first rodeo. Yes! I love that saying. I say that all the time. Did I ever tell you how we met? One of our enemies from the Space War made it past the front line and landed in a parking lot outside Namco Mall. A parking lot I just pulled into. The alien was about to get me. And then Toby... Toby? Toby rolled in like a cowboy. She was so bright. She blinded me. Kissy's untouchable. When the dust settled, I offered to give her a ride home. It was cute. Oh, hell yeah. We're taking off, Itoko. Thanks for everything, Hiromi. No. Thank you, Itoko. Well, you right? I'm not much for words. Ha. Ha ha ha. That's true. I wish I could come with you. Maybe you can. Well, what a strange story. I really like that one. Anyway, catch you on the flip. Ah, yeah. That's a pretty good picture. I like how he's on a little sidecar. That looks dangerous, though. Why are you riding on the back, Toby? Uh, that was a good story. Like, kind of unexpected. Uh, I looked up the games. Uh, Hiromi is from Burning Force, which offered quite a few suggestive pictures by just Googling it. Uh, Toby is from a Baraduke series of games. I mispronounce it as Baraduke, but it's Baraduke. And apparently in some, like, uh, the PlayStation era Mr. Driller, where the student Mr. Driller in this game is from, she married Dig Dug in this case the principal, and had children, one of them being uh, Mr. Driller. And she met Hiromi in uh, Namco X Capcom, where they teamed up. So, yeah, this was probably the most involved story of all of the ones I've done so far. So, that's quite unexpected. <laughs> Although, they didn't have any relationship with her and Dig Dug and Mr. Driller, but still... It happened. Official canon, y'all. Anyway, uh, I think I might do Valkyrie by myself because, like, she was most cheerful. And honestly, I'm running out of people, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, catch you guys next time. Bye.